Well guys, here we are. It's another Monday morning. I know you guys were like, what happened to Friday? Well, we did some trucking things and wound up at home kind of late. Didn't get a chance to edit a video on Friday. And I was busy all day Saturday and busy all day Sunday. And I really just didn't feel like staying up till 11, 12 o'clock at night editing video. Um, so, I, Friday uh, I shot video, but I don't think there's anything overly exciting that really happened that needed to be put. So, I mean, oh, what about your YouTube monies? We don't make nothing. That's A-OK, -okay, but this is how much we make. Absolutely nothing. Oh, well, so-and-so makes millions. Not me. <laughs> I ain't making a dime right now. Oh. Uh, it's all right. I do this because I'm psycho. <laughs> so, we're going to get ready to go. I need to go make me a cup of coffee. Get going. We got to go deliver over in St. Genevieve. We got rocks on. Uh, we got to go deliver in St. Genevieve. Then we're going to turn around and head down to Tennessee to pick up a load going to Kansas City and I think I gotta be back to Tennessee Wednesday to pick up a load going to Chicago I could be wrong but I think that's what the plan is right now uh, it's uh what do they call this it's the week of Easter you know yesterday was Palm Sunday the day that Jesus rode in on the donkey uh, <clears throat> you know and this whole week you know is leading up to Jesus's death and ultimately the resurrection uh, so a lot to think about this week follow show or my favorite part of the morning Coming up all my friends at the Billman's. Making really good progress. So the new building there, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but putting up a new wash bay. And uh, they got, uh, they're actually building a new shop over here too. Uh, so they're making a lot of progress over at that facility. That's their uh, biggest terminal, if I'm not mistaken. Not their main terminal, but their biggest one. I wonder if Kyle heard me. You know, as we turn on to the road, I ain't made my guess for the day yet. Now, what are our gross weights gonna be coming across the scale? Uh, so, I don't even see my paper, but I figured it up the other day. Just under 47,000 is what, I think it was 46,900 is what Brian figured it up to be. Uh, we're about a half tank. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a confident 78,000. I'm going to go confident. Right about 78. I'm not going with 78.5 or 77.5. I'm going to say about 78. I would be surprised if it's less than that, but I definitely don't think it's much heavier than 78,000. Well, to my surprise, pulled up here. Snap on guy was here. So, I took full advantage of it. I've never been on a snap-on truck. Matco, often. Snap-on, never. I used to go on a Matco truck and just dream about all the tools that I couldn't afford. Kind of did the same thing today with snap-on guy. I really like the snap-on lights. I'm sure I can buy them somewhere else, but I like snap-on. Or light. I, I used to borrow one all the time. And 
Sometimes I forget it on the truck. Well, oh, we're heavier than I thought. 79, 180. There you go. That works. Got moisture on the window. That's always wonderful. All right. We're right at legal height. Measured it three or four times. That's eight foot five and a half on these boards. This trailer is, well, double check it, but it's four foot 11 last I checked. Take measure. Okay. So right here, right where we're standing, you can see it. Uh, between four foot eight, or four foot nine and four foot ten. We should be more than legal, so we're ready to roll. To Kansas City, we go. <laughs> All right. So with this load, we're not only tall, but we're top heavy. And we're also fighting the wind. I originally was gonna have them put it on the back of the trailer. And I got to looking and thinking, I'm like, no, they better go up on the front here. But that's the route we went. Get it up on the front, kind of get it out of the wind the best we can. Uh, and the rest of the load's real low to the deck, but we just got the two pieces that are really tall. Um, they're eight foot. I think I could hold them legally if they stood them down, but they got to keep them on the racks that they're on. So, I don't, I really don't know there. I didn't measure just the chassis itself. I measure the chassis on the blocks to the ground to see where we're at, so. I don't know, intercompany shipments, you know how that goes. Oh man, let's see if we can make it across this bridge today. We, uh, we come across this bridge earlier, there were white caps on the river. I mean, they were coming up high enough, they were going up over the barges. And uh, of course, there's some little guy out there on a, I'd say a little dinghy boat, but I mean, as compared to the barges, that's what they were. It's like a John boat versus a barge or a cruise ship. giant billboard or a rudder down the road and the wind when it catches it it wants to push you the way it's going and the wind's blowing that way yay as long as we don't wind up in the drink i'm okay i don't want nobody nicknaming me the rubber duck Still got good, good size white caps. You can see the dust coming off this guy's trailer. Destroyed his tarp already. Woo! Come on, wind. Give it a break. Give it a break. Come on. <laughs> and of course, it's going to start raining up here in St. Louis. Do you know that St. Louis is home of the first recorded automobile accident? <laughs> It ain't no surprise to me. But well, it's just a fun fact. Well, we made it to <clears throat> Oak Grove. We're on the opposite side of the highway. There's the Petro. We're at the TA. I was gonna go in and eat, but I didn't realize it was so late at night. Not really super hungry. 
So I don't see going in and spending 15, 20 bucks to eat necessary. So I don't know. We got like another 30 miles we got to do in the morning to uh, get to our delivery and then head down to pick up a load of rock. We're going out to a different to a different quarry. One of the quarries that like to load you heavy and say. Well, I didn't, I didn't realize skills at that. It's all good, though. And hopefully, hopefully this time, old boy's got his scale figured out on his loader, because last time sucked, because he had me really light on the front and super heavy on the back and just barely legal altogether. Crazy. So, we're gonna get us a bite to eat. I don't know, we got it, switched it up a little bit this week. We got us some Hungry Man and some crustless pizza. The banquet niggas. I don't know what I want. I'm not super hungry, so I might go with the crustless pizza. Y'all stay safe out there. God bless you and measure them heights.